Black Commentary number 25. Oh, what the fuck? What do I tell you guys about the intro grab? I don't need that shit, man. You don't have to send in that shit at the beginning of the fucking video. And I see he also put his name at the bottom of this motherfucker. He acts like I'm not going to give you credit up in this bitch. <laughs> I always give people credit in these fucking videos, man. Anyway, Fit Fight Commentary number 242, Lee of Backup. I think that's how you pronounce it. Backup, right? I don't really know if it's, if it's not pronounced backup. I'm pronouncing it backup in this motherfucker. He sent in some more Destiny, and I know what people are thinking. People are probably thinking, oh, stop with this Destiny bullshit already. Listen, man, I rolled out these challenges well before I thought this game was going to be a pile of shit. <laughs> I did. I had no idea that this game was going to be so fucking repetitive. So when I rolled this shit out, obviously there was a lot of interest, a lot of hype around this game. And I knew a lot of people on the forums were going to want to play this game. Who knows? It could have possibly beaten Call of Duty in this motherfucker. It could have possibly been one of the next greatest games that we were ever going to have in this bitch. But we didn't know at the time. All we saw was some good trailers. We had a very good beta. I mean, obviously, we just extended on the beta. And basically, the game is one large beta. <laughs> We didn't fucking know at the damn time, man. So in any event, we actually had a whole bunch of challenges up in this bitch. We had a whole bunch of hype in this game. I really thought this was going to be the next greatest game, next greatest franchise and shit like that. Now, it's not to take away this game could still turn into something decent. But let's be honest, it is fucking repetitive. But in the meantime, I rolled out a lot of hipfire commentary challenges and a lot of uh, um, requests that people could send in. So we're getting through these motherfuckers. And I believe I have a couple, maybe like three or four more leftovers, whatever the fuck, man. But trust me, the games are coming. Advanced Warfare games are coming. I asked for footage for those games. Assassin's Creed is coming. I got some racing games coming. I believe I asked for Halo. It's all over at the website. But unfortunately, because we don't have a lot of Xbox One players, we haven't got a lot of Halo submissions. But people have sent in Advanced Warfare. People have sent in Assassin's Creed. I forgot whatever the fuck. I think I asked for a Little Big Planet or something like that. Whatever, man. There's, there's, there's some, some requests over at the website. If you guys want to get in on the Hipfire Commentary Challenge, you guys can just go over there and take a look at this motherfucker. But anyway, man. I know a lot of people are still wondering, what the fuck is the, is the hang-up with this Destiny shit? Why am I still posting it? <laughs> Look, man, I've said it plenty of times. It's fun, whatever the fuck. It, it, it's entertaining, and it's a lot better than going back to Call of Duty. I do not want to play Call of Duty this year. So this is the only game that's really holding me over until at least something better comes out. I don't know what's going to be better, considering all these other games are just as incomplete as Destiny or Rushed Out or whatever the fuck. So every game right now has its own issues. This is the one game that's at least entertaining me. It's not perfect, far from perfect, but it's entertaining me for now. Now, I know when I rolled out um, the challenges, I believe, I forgot who it was, the, the first one. Gergner? Was it Gergner? I know he sent in a video, and it was the, the Cabal Strike mission. And I thought it was the Headshot mission. I, I thought it was the Headshot mission, but I believe it was the Do the Cabal Strike mission or whatever the fuck. The, I, again, I rolled it out before I knew what the, the, the game was going to be like. So I said, do the, the Strike mission on Mars with the Cabal or whatever the fuck. So I had no idea what it was going to be. He did the challenge. He did the, uh, what was that shit? The Cerberus Vi challenge, whatever the fuck. So that was the 10 minutes of the, the Cabal thing. I think he even mentioned in the comment section that was his first time doing it. He had never seen it before, so he didn't know not to bring in a, a shotgun up in this bitch. <laughs> But I can tell right off the bat from this one, this is the headshot challenge. I specifically asked for, I know there was a trophy or achievement, whichever fucking console you're on. It asked for 25 headshots of a certain enemy type within a certain mission. So obviously seeing how careful he's playing right now and going for constant headshots with a hand cannon, he's got to be doing the, head, the, the headshot challenge. I, I think it's a... Uh, it's a trophy, if I'm not mistaken. It's, yeah, it is a trophy, but I believe it's going to pop up once he gets that motherfucker. And this guy is fucking chasing you. Look, you don't have to kill every single thing with a damn headshot. <laughs> you don't need to get... Look, you, yeah, get some body shots up in this motherfucker. You're going to face like 80 enemy. He probably didn't know either. So he was just like, fuck it, I'm going to hit everything with a damn headshot. So there's his captain running away from him. There you see his uh, low level on the bottom. He's uh, level uh, 3 or whatever the fuck. So he's got a... Uh, this is one of the opening missions on Earth and shit like that. And I'm sure people who play this game, you guys have seen this thousands of fucking times because this game is so fucking repetitive, man. <laughs> shit. Now, I know the DLC is going to be coming up, but I'm doing the Blueprint series and shit like that. And the funny thing is, like I mentioned with the, the Blueprint series, a number of the things that I... Now, the blue, first of all, let me backtrack for a second. The Blueprint series is done way ahead of time. The Blueprint series is obviously, it's it's mapped out, it's planned out. All these ideas and videos, they all come in a little sequence, purposely made in that sequence. Now, in each one of these videos, there's going to be ideas that I roll out. Now, a lot of these ideas were actually come up with before they announced the DLC or before they announced what was in the DLC. We knew the DLC was coming, but there are a number of things that I'm going to be doing in the videos, and now it's going to be fucking delaying the videos based on what they do in the Dark Below. Because a number of the things that I was mentioning that they should be doing, they're going to end up doing in the fucking Dark Below. So now a number of things that I was talking about with the guns and challenges and side quests and shit like that, all that crap 
is being fucking addressed. Now, the problem is it's being addressed in only the DLC. I don't think it's going to fix what's in the normal part of the game. The game already has its structure. The game already has those 20 repetitive fucking missions that I don't think anything's going to occur with those things. Now, where's that enemy that pops? What the fuck? The fallen are Ain't there an enemy that drops down the from the ceiling that normally knifes your ass? Uh, whatever, man. Maybe that's only on the, the Nightfall crap or the, uh, not the Nightfall shit, the, the daily story mission when you do it on hard mode or whatever the fuck. And these guys will fuck you up. <laughs> Oh man, this fucking mission, let me tell you man, when I do this mission on the, the Daily Story, and anybody who does it on the Daily Story knows, these fucking, the stealth vandals, when they have light switch on, man, they one-hit kill monsters. They, and they attack you, they rush you, they're one of the hardest enemies in the game in terms of fucking finding them, because half the time you don't see them, sometimes they don't show up on the radar, and then when they get close to you, it's pretty much over. If you're low level, if you don't have like two or three levels above those motherfuckers, yeah, they're gonna melee your ass big time up in this bitch, man, anyway. I know which mission this is. This is the, uh, the, the Rasput. Now, here's the funny thing, man. Everybody knows this about the damn story. When we did this mission, they had this whole concept. And you see right back there, this stupid computer that he has to, to download or whatever the fuck. We find out that there's this AI. And this AI is doing something. We don't know what the fuck it's doing. The AI is supposedly holding back the darkness or doing whatever the fuck. And we don't know. Because at the end of the game, no explanation is given for Rasputin. Now, I don't know, again, if they're sitting there saying, oh, we're going to explain this shit in paid DLC. But come on, man. You introduce at least some form of character or some form of a, of a, a storyline with this fucking AI. And by the end of the game, we don't know anything about the goddamn thing. It is so fucking stupid, man. It just bugs the shit out of you that they do this stupidness in this fucking game that they give you this character they give you this plot or this storyline and then they don't fucking explain it now after we play this mission and i think it's also the this is either the third or the fourth mission i believe we can play one more after this after we play these missions the next time you hear from rasputin the ai the the computer intelligence whatever the fuck is on mars you don't hear from him in the next five missions on the moon you don't hear from him in the next five missions on on venus or whatever the fuck i think they might make one mention of him on venus but the next time you actually really hear from him is like mission number 17 or 18 and shit like that. So let me get this straight. You, We heard this motherfucker mission 3, 4, 5. Whatever the fuck it is, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nothing. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nothing. And then you don't hear from him until like mission number 17 or 18. And, and then it's just like bullshit. It, it's like, come on, man, really? Why do you fucking do that shit in the goddamn game? It really shows... This game was so incomplete. It's fun, and I've said it plenty of times. The game is entertaining, but my god, man, the story is so fucking terrible. And they're making you pay for more storyline, which is, which is this just the biggest irritant when it comes to that goddamn DLC pack, man. You know, now, the content that they're rolling out so far it seems pretty decent. They're rolling out a number of things that, that players have asked for when it comes to the gameplay. The problem is, the storyline is always going to be fucked up. And, and that's something that they're just not going to fucking fix because it's such a goddamn irritant that that's going to happen, man. I really think Bungie didn't know what the fuck they're doing. I really think they changed something along the way or whatever the fuck they did. But they did something. They seriously did something to this fucking story that screwed this whole shit up where we got this fucking half-assed plot that didn't really do shit for anybody, man. This is fucking... You know what, man? I'll, I'll rant about that shit in the Blueprint series. <laughs> For now, Lee is going after headshot after headshot. And I haven't seen the trophy. I don't know if the trophy pops up when you get the actual kill or if it's at the end of a mission when you're supposed to finish the mission. I don't remember. I got. I mean, I got my platinum trophy. You guys saw that I got my platinum trophy. But I don't remember. This was obviously this is one of the earliest trophies and shit like that. Basically, just shoot shit in the head. That's all you gotta do. Just keep shooting shit in the head, and you you basically get the the damn trophy. I don't remember when or where I got it. I don't remember how I got it. I think it was on this mission, if I'm not mistaken, because this does have the the most number of um fallen enemies at the beginning. The, the other missions have a lot of uh, hive enemies and shit, so you're fighting basically. Uh, the two enemies and shit, so they kind of split up how many you get, but I believe this is the one of the, the, the few ones that have all fallen enemies where you're able to get the, the headshot challenge and shit like that. It's a fairly easy trophy. It, it really is. It's not difficult at all to get. I mean, you're gonna get it just by playing the gameplay and being able to shoot shit in the fucking face. <laughs> That's it. That's how you get this motherfucker. Now, I, I, I really can't tell. I can't remember if it really does um, occur when you, you complete the mission or whatever the hell. But obviously, he's taking his, his sweet-ass time and making sure that he uses a, a powerful weapon and shit like that. Hand cannons, they, they, they're, they're pretty good in this game. When you get the exotic ones at the end of the game, between the uh, the last word, the last word is great for the, the crucible and shit like that. Hawk Moon is fucking excellent. I, I love the look of the Hawk Moon. The Hawk Moon, to me, reminds you of, like, uh, the, the Magnum or some shit like that, or, or some kind of power. Now, let's see. Does it pop up? I guess maybe he got it already on another... I don't know. Look at that skinny-ass shit. <laughs> 
And there he goes, precision, and he also got, there it is. So I guess he already had the trophy, and now you see the uh, precision kills at the top, so that's pretty much how he, he showed this motherfucker. Anyway, I knew he completed the mission. Someone said he completed the mission. So anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next FI commentary video.